Let's Go Outdoors with Michael Short, supported by the Alberta Conservation Association, conserving Alberta's wild side. We are on the Owl River looking for walleye spawning areas with the Alberta Conservation Association. The Owl River is a major spawning tributary for walleye out of Lac La Biche. Biologists from the Alberta Conservation Association are on the river to determine where walleye are spawning and to take stock of this important habitat. Sustainable Resource Development has put a lot of effort into a stocking program here in Lac La Biche and we're trying to get a handle on what's happening within the Owl River while it pertains to the, uh, the spawning and just to get an idea of where they are and how we can go about uh, protecting these areas for future. It's been identified the uh, Owl River to have uh, some problems with uh, its riparian areas. So we're working with landowners to try to enhance these areas and restore the riparian areas along the Owl River. Walla is just one component of our study here. We're also going to be collecting information on water quality. We're going to be looking at what's in the water related to bugs, the bug community, as well as we're going to be looking at the vegetation community along the banks. In three to five years, we're going to come back and look at the same areas and to see whether or not the efforts that we've put in related to enhancement of our riparian areas has things changed with regards to water quality, our bug community, our fish community. Now one of the technologies used by fishery biologists to determine where walleye are spawning is to use searchlights at night. It works well because uh, walleye actually have a reflective layer within their eye and we shine a light on it, it reflects back a, a white uh, color. And we're able to identify this from other species um, that may be in the river at the same time. This walleye right there. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. That's awesome. Alberta Conservation Association. Since 1997, more than $120 million has gone towards conserving wildlife and fish and securing habitat, creating a lasting legacy for Albertans.